Hello and welcome back. Steel Pinnings here once again, and today I come to you bringing another edition of June Locks. And this one's another big haul, really. I got uh, lucky and visited a, uh, a locksmith friend of mine who's become an old buddy of mine, this old man. And um, I got a whole bunch of locks from him. I got a box. He, he handed me a medium flat rate box that was just packed full of locks. And he said, there's no keys for any of these. Some of them are parts locks. Some of them are are just play locks and you know to play around with a couple of them he figured i could rekey and use but he had no use for them so he hadn't done nothing with them and uh, i said well of course man it's a lock i'll take anything <laughs> if it's a lock i want it so without further ado let's see what we got here um one thing that jumps right out is this here and this just a whole bunch of uh, spare shackles for different models and makes and links and everything else so that's always a plus i can add that to my um uh padlock parts box and uh, then they had a couple old americans here this uh, h10 here uh i have several of these so i have uh promised uh, avid picker one he can uh, have this one and see what he can do with it and this is a beautiful nearly not even used american 600 and uh, it doesn't have a core but i happen to have a spare core for that particular model and uh so we'll make that work too nice little score there uh there was a bunch of these um combination locks some of them had the combo some of them don't they're always fun to play with. Um, they're always good to add these more vintage round bodies to any master collection. We know that they're not all that great for any kind of you know modern use, but um, Master Lock did make them, and people who collect Master Locks would love them. So I figured I'd hang on to them and see if anybody wanted one. I'm gonna move them off to the side so I have a little more room here. These here are just some, we've all seen this one, no key um, master lock. It's a smooth little lock if you can impression a key for it, as it's not rekeyable. These are a couple uh, Schlage locks here, and they're marked parts only. I mean, you can tell, I just want to get the shackle out of that one, and there's not much left. <laughs> um, then this one here has a little bit more, more of a body as well. Um, might be able to fit something in there to get it to work. Kind of like, uh, one of these doodads here. Yeah, well, that one there won't work in there anyway. That way. Something like that, you know. Anyhow, we'll see. Um, parts locks are always nice, too. Gotta have parts. This is an old, uh, Eagle wafer lock. Nice little addition to my eagle bin. A um, couple masters here. A 6 and a 27. Uh, the 27 is rekeyable. And the 6 is not. But um, the 27 has a very large shackle. As you can tell, it's a big different shackle. Which is really nice. I like that. And um, then behind them here. Let me set that down. Uh, behind it here were these two, you know, 175s. Everybody's been able to get into these with the little shim and you know how that goes. But they're always good for a master collection as well. So Then these, um, these here are 220s, I believe. Yeah. This one doesn't have a core, but I have a, another core right here. Or housing for the core. Two of them, actually. This, and this one goes to a 230. Sorry. And this one is a 220. So I have an extra core for it. And the 220s have nice big shackles on them. The, the bodies on them are made of zinc. I think I've seen them melted out and stuff. So they're not great locks, but they're needed for a master lock collection again. So if anybody's looking for them, let me hit me up. 
Got this uh, round body black rhino. It's good for a uh, uh, zoo zoo collection, a zoo lock collection. Uh, it doesn't have a key. It'll have to be picked open and rekeyed. No, not a big deal, of course. I sprayed it with a little juju juice. <laughs> a little go-go juice. Um, but again, I'm just trying to make a little bit of room here. Because I've got these two. And these are some hefty, hefty locks. And you can tell that they're European. Maybe English. It looks like the English guard on the front. They say high security. They are those uh, disc detainers that you uh, get open with one of these doodads, you know. I've been playing around with them. Again, if anybody's got one of these doodads and need a lock to play with, let me know. There's a good one. And uh, then there was this American. And he didn't want to cut it off of any of these. He knew I'd want it. Because it's an older Series 7300. And it's a tubular. And he figured, oh yeah, definitely. But, you know, my little tubular wrench, it's not very long and it doesn't go down in the inset. So I need to figure out another way to tension it so I can pick it. It's It doesn't impression at all. I've tried and tried. So I figure it's got security pins or at least um, different springs. So I will eventually get that one popped open too. And then what I got here is a was the find of finds, if you ask me. All of these piled up here are federal locks. And they were covered in paint. A couple of them were. And I buffed them off and cleaned them up. And, and they work out great. This little federal 90 here. I have picked and rekeyed all of them. And uh, this little federal 90 here is beautiful. Almost brand new. It wasn't covered. But it didn't have a key. Then I had these US lock keys that are American. Uh, not branded, but type. And then it goes to this uh, Federal 200 long shackle. Beautiful little lock. Um, like I said, I re-keyed them to, all to the same key. But I can't see the low key. There it is. Set my vice down on it. The key. And they all work great now. This one was covered in paint. Beautiful specimen now. Then there was this 900. And I buffed it. And you can see that the shackles turned uh, kind of copperish color. Again, I've uh, rekeyed it to that key. Oh yeah, this one has to be. There we go. Then this beautiful Federal 300 guarded shackle. And it's uh, not under spring pressure or anything. It's just a gorgeous lock. And uh, last but not least was this gigantic puck. Federal 5400. And I've picked it and I need to key it to that key. All right. It, it actually had a key but I want to pin it to that key. <laughs> Nonetheless. So it's darn near an entire series of federal locks that was in this box so yeah i thank goodness for that that locksmith saving them all for me and he only charged me 40 bucks for the whole box he said he's gonna get that in scrap weight anyway so i was just, definitely i'll pay the 40 bucks but um the pierre de resistance of it all isn't necessarily just these i uh i featured before Oh yeah, I'm sorry, there's another one here. A quick set padlock with a huge shackle. No key, and it's a Yale keyway. But that's one one I haven't seen before, by all means. But uh, to carry on, I, I had featured this beautiful Medico gigantic um, padlock here. A uh, couple videos, a few videos back. Anyway, the seller had uh, sold another one and I bid on it but I didn't go any higher and it sold but the guy who bought it spazzed out on him saying well you know he didn't even realize it was sub-assembled what the hell that was and so he offered it to me and I paid him the same price I paid for that one so I got another one but of course it's sub-assembled I'll have to get a core for it or make one of my medical cores fit it 
a beautiful brand new specimen again just a gorgeous lock um, for that matter now I have two so twins you know how I work guys I love having multiples of everything it makes for great trades nonetheless I'm gonna go ahead and sign off there uh, before I get into any more locks y'all please stay safe and always stay legit if <laughs> if you like this video hit that like button of course if you want to see more hit that subscribe button till we meet again peace